Today I'm going to show you how to use Stop Motion Studio. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have the Stop Motion app downloaded from Self Service. Once you click on the Stop Motion app, you're going to click on the plus button to create a new movie. Once you open the project, you're ready to take your pictures. You take pictures by clicking on the red button. The pictures will show up below in the order that you've taken them. Here are labels showing all the options you have. You're going to continue wanting to take pictures, moving the objects in small movements. Once you're finished taking all your photos, you can click the play button to see your video. Here's an example of using stop motion to create a Skittles graph for math. Once you're done reviewing your video, you can click the arrow that's pointing to the left to go back to the main menu. Once you get back to the main menu, you're going to want to click the select button. Once you've clicked the select button, you're going to click the iMotion movie that you'd like to use. You're going to want to make sure that you see the blue check mark. Once you've selected your stop motion movie, you're going to click the upload button. Then you're going to want to click on Export Movie. Then you're going to want to click on your Seesaw class. If you don't see it right away, you're going to need to scroll to find it. Once you upload it to Seesaw, you're going to want to click on your team name. Once you've clicked on your team name, you're going to make sure that you click the green check mark up in the right hand corner. Once you've clicked on the green check mark, it should upload to your Seesaw account and you can go into your Seesaw account and take a look at what you've posted. If you have any questions, contact a DLC and we'll be happy to help you.